Hello everyone, my name is Stefan. I'm going to teach you in this uh, tutorial about rational function and we call it example one. We're going to learn about the domain, what is the domain and find it, the vertical and horizontal asymptotes, and then we sketch the function, the, the graph of the function. So first of all, let's start with, uh, <coughs> uh, with finding the domain. So we'll call it one. What is the domain? The domain is always what we do in the domain. We look where is the restriction about this function. So we can exclude those numbers. For example, here is no 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 restriction could be any any number, doesn't matter. So it will be R. However, in the bottom here, this it shouldn't be equal to zero because the denominator shouldn't be equal to zero. So we let's see where is this denom denominator equal to zero so we can exclude where uh, the numbers that makes it equal to zero. So we have 3x squared minus 27 shouldn't be equal to zero. Therefore, let's divide everything by 3. We take this here and we divide everything by 3 so to make it simple. So what is going to give us here? Give us x squared minus nine equal to zero. It's going to give us x minus three times x plus three, where is it not equal to zero? Therefore, x shouldn't be equal to three, and x shouldn't be equal to negative 3. Where this comes from? Where this comes from here? We have uh, comes from there. I will simplify it here. So we have we have x squared minus 9 is just equal to x squared minus 3 squared is going to give us is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 3. This is a relationship here. We have it. So when we have a plus b squared is just equal to a minus b times a plus b is a relationship so we have here the domain we find where is the equation shouldn't be equal to zero we have this one here and uh, three so let's write the domain so we give it df it will be equal to negative infinity negative three union negative three 3 union 3 infinity this is the domain what we did we just excluded number 3 we excluded number 3 here and number negative 3 here so this is the domain so let's go number 2 finding the vertical asymptotes 2 vertical asymptotes how we find the vertical asymptotes how that works we see that here where is the the, the function is not defined what makes the denominator equal to zero thus it will be x equal to that number is the domain is the the asymptotes in this case here it will be it will be x equal to three and x equal to negative 3 are horizontal uh, vertical asymptotes for the graph so it will be something like this thus it will be the the vertical asymptote it will be something like this it will be one here one two three it will be one here one two negative three and one here 
this was the vertical asymptote is going to be for this function d3 negative 3 so let's find the horizontal asymptotes and give our number 3 uh, horizontal asymptote how we find the horizontal asymptote we see here in this section here in the function here we see that the function when is going to plus or minus infinity let's just write it down when x when, when x goes to plus minus infinity we see we see that f of x goes to 2 over 3 how that works because when we are simple if we put this to a negative infinity this number here it will be like uh, they don't make any differences because they are very small comparing to infinity to infinity and minus infinity so we will cancel this two here x and x we will have 3 over 2 and this it will be the horizontal asymptote it will give us that uh, y y equal 2 over 3 is a uh, horizontal asymptote for the function so let's add it here so what is going to be will be 2 thirds will be 1 here so will be here so this one here it will be uh, an asymptote will be here so just the asymptotes for this function that we have so after finding the the domain and the horizontal and vertical uh, asymptotes we're going to use this graph here so what this graph is going to give us the idea how the function and its graph looks like without even graphing it so we will know from this from this uh, from this uh, table we're going to do that so we're going to put everything about this function so this function is from negative from negative infinity to infinity and we see that uh, whereas this function is not um, defined in negative 3 and 3 and uh, where is equal to 0 in negative 2 and 2 so we see this one here the this function in the bottom the denominator is equal to zero here and uh, is the function is not defined in three and in negative three so same thing so it will be here undefined means has no value and we know that equal to zero here if you if you put this one here it will be the uh, where is zero is in negative two and two we find it before so it will be here zero and gives the function zero and here as well so i want to know the sign of this function we know from here that uh, this function here is positive is positive here and here as well and after zero change the sign after zero change again positive we know this function uh, the second one here is uh, positive as well you can always just put a value let's put for example after 3 negative 4 negative 4 is 16 uh, so 4 squared is 16 multiply in 3 is 48 minus 27 is 21 is positive so it will be positive here after the zero is negative 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 and positive is here is not equal to zero here is here so it will be something like that so the sign of x positive multiplying positive is positive positive and negative is uh, negative negative and negative is positive 
positive divided by negative is negative and positive divided by positive is positive we see here now the function how it looks like is positive in this side and negative and positive is positive here is it will be the top of the x-axis and negative here will be on the bottom of the x-axis and is on top of x-axis the bottom and the top so if we see the graph how it's going to be looking like we have to add more stuff more details if we see here is this number is going close to zero is very very close to zero so when you divide this number here and is, is a positive number by a number is very close to zero it will be is plus infinity so we know the graph in this side here in this side let's change the color we know the graph in this side here is going to infinity just from the graph opposite here is a number is bigger than zero is a, is a number this number here it will be here for example if we give there three it will be 18 minus 18 18 minus 8 is 10 divided by number very tiny close to zero but the number is negative so a number positive divided by a number very tiny is it will be so will we give us something is close to pos a negative infinity so from here we know the, the graph is going this direction here and is going to negative infinity here we know is going to zero graph is here is, uh, is zero and we know here is zero and we know in this place here how we find before is going to when we give uh, this function zero here when we give x equal to zero it will be is going to zero minus eight over minus twenty seven minus eight over minus twenty seven is going to be eight over twenty seven so we know here it will be eight eight over twenty seven and then go to zero here here we know is a positive number we have here a positive number here but this number is divided by a number is very close to zero so it will be same as this place here it will be going to negative infinity we know is the graph is going to negative infinity and same thing as before in this way here is going to positive infinity to infinity here of positive infinity this is the graph how it looks like because we have a number divided by a number very tiny close to zero it gives us a big number is going to infinity and we know here since we have an asymptote here is uh, we have it, how much was 3 over y was y let's change the color here it was y equal 2 over 3 so this asymptote we know here this function here in this way here is going close to this to this number here the value to this same way here it's going to 3 2 over is going like something like this is very close but it never will across it why because from the range we know that is asymptote is it can't across that line because it doesn't it just get very close to it because it's not belong to the range so this is with the graph let's just try to draw it there to see how we look like another color here so we know the graph is going to be something like this just from here and it's going to be something like this and passing crossing zero here and going down it will be something like this and I was not say that it's too nice and from here we know it's going something to be like this 
before we graph it we have an idea how it looks like so this the graph is going to be so let's uh, now graph it in a real plane so we have a vertical asymptote here in green and one in negative three and we have a horizontal asymptote is something is uh, two thirds will be here so something like this now here is going to 8 over 27 8 over 27 is something like here 8 over 27 and we know the graph is going to pass by negative 2 and 2 so the graph is going to be something like this more or less something like this and this going something uh, like this here just you have an idea more or less it's something like this it's getting close to the number we never touch it actually it's like this here it's going to a negative infinity this side passing crossing two and the same thing here this function looks like it's an even function and on the top is going to be something like this here on this side something like this never will touch those lines the asymptotes get very close but you never touch it and this for this graph it will be symmetric to the y-axis because it's a, an even function that's it thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and uh, subscribe and uh, share so help me to put more videos and thank you take care